Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning, and things happening in my real life. Today I have my update for paranormal pantivity, and so stay tuned. Alright, this is Paranormal Pantivity. It is a Pantastic Ladies collab group project and it was created by Andrea at Pretty as a Peacock here on YouTube. It started on September 24th of 2022 and goes until September 24th of 2023. It is monthly or bi-monthly updates. You are to work on six products, rolling style or all in at once or roulette or however you felt like doing it. Um, September 24th, by the way, was National Ghost Hunting Day. So, what I'm working on currently, uh, my six prompts are, the first one is Screaming Skulls, a Halloween or scary themed item. For that, I brought in my BH Cosmetics Venom Palette, and I am working on the shade Silent Killa, which is this one right here. It is a gunmetal silver. It has been in since February. No, September, October. Since the second update, first update, whatever. It's been in for a long time. My goal is to use it 13 times. I'm up to 10. I have three more uses to go on this palette. And hopefully I will get those done over the next month. It is a really lovely shade. Um, if you haven't seen before, I will give you a swatch of it here. And it is starting to get a nice little dip in it. There we go. It is just a beautiful metallic gunmetal gray shade. Um, but I really like shades like that. So that has three more uses in this project. And then it will roll out. But not yet, unfortunately. So that is staying in. Next we have for the prompt Kelpie. Something you use in the shower or bath. And for that, I brought in a shampoo. And it is my Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Better Shampoo. I brought it in for 13 uses. And at the last update, I had used it seven times. I used it six more times over the last month. And or that seems like a lot, but maybe we'll just go with it. I have six marks. Um, it went from here to there. Maybe that was two months ago. I don't remember. But I have met my goal on this product. And it, it's a big jump from that mark to this mark because I decanted some of it into a travel bottle, finally. So I use it while I'm traveling. So it's not all the use in here, but this is where this bottle is right now. So this is rolling out of the project. Prompt complete. Next is for demon Something you were tempted into buying. For the me, that was a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one is a super, is an ultra glitter in the shade Plume. My goal is to use it 13 times. I've used it four. I will give you a swatch of it. Um, it is just, it's pink. And pink is not a color I reach for all the time. And it is also just something I forget about because it is in pot by itself. It is very pretty. Um, I'm afraid one of these days it's going to start drying out and, you know, be terrible. But that is it there. Beautiful, ultra glittery, metallic pink shade. One of these days I'll, I will finish using it. But so far, only four uses to go. So I have nine more. Curse you, ColourPop. It's the only Super Shock I have. So at least I didn't go, you know, get tempted into buying a whole bunch of them before actually trying them and finding out I'm not a big fan. You know, hey, whatever. Anyway, moving on. The next prompt uh, is on the next page. And that is for Ouija board. Something that has embossing. For that, I brought in my lipstick here in Ranch Girl. Yes, I am wearing it today. It is on top of some other colors, so it might not be the true color. But my goal is to use it five times. 
and I have used it once. Apparently I have to remember to roll it all the way down because the tip is smudged and I don't remember it being smudged before. But it does have lovely heart embossing or star embossing all around it on the bullet there. And um, as I said, my goal is five uses. I've used it once today because I kind of forgot about it. And I'm suddenly working on a lot of lip products in my projects. Um, so I have four more uses to go on that. But that's not so bad because I just brought that in last month. So, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, the next is for Urban Legend, something that is too good to be true. For that, I brought in my Pacifica Under Eye Patches, reusable under eye patches, no less. And that is what they look like. And they stick. And then you rinse them off, wash them off, and then let them dry and reuse them. And I am using them, uh, I put them on at night while I'm sleeping because I'm a side sleeper. And I'm trying to minimize the wrinkles around the eyes there. So I think they are helping. Unfortunately, I didn't use them consistently recently, so I don't know how effective they are, but I do feel like they are helping. Um, my goal was to bring them in and use them for a month, and I'm considering that done because that was last month I brought them in, and it is now this month, and it's been a month. So I used them as much as I used them, and um, I was going to take pictures to show befores and afters, but I forgot. We'll just say I did it, and it's uh, goal met. Next is for orbs. Something that brings light to your face. And if you've noticed my face is really glowy, that is because I am wearing one of these products. Um, I added a little bit on top of some... Um, let me tell you what it is first. It is the BH Cosmetics Aspen... A Prey and Aspen palette. It is a highlighter palette like this. And as you say, I applied one of these on top of the highlighter I already had. I just put on some of this guy here, the peach, which is called Frostbite. So I've used that. My goal is to use each one of these shades once to see how they work and if I like them and if they're wearable. Uh, I am wearing Frostbite today and then I have also worn Bunny Slope, which is the purple one. So I've worn two out of the six, and they both seem to work fine. Um, I was afraid the purple would be too much, but with a light hand, it didn't show up that much. And then this one just makes me extra shiny because I put it on top of another highlighter I already had on. Because I forgot about this project. And why not get a use when I can't? So that is staying in for four more uses. All right, so I am rolling out two products the eye masks, and the shampoo. So I am bringing in the next two prompts on the list, and I am just rolling them, rolling style, just going down the list. The next prompt on the list is for seance, and that is something you bought because someone told you to or recommended it. And I had to stop and think about this one for a while, but I decided to go with this Zoya nail polish, because Deb and Danny, really big fans of Zoya polishes, and I'd heard of them, but I'd never actually owned any. And so um, Deb had recommended Zoya and said they were very good, so I decided to give it a try. And if you don't know, Zoya names their polishes after people, so they have names. Um, they have people names, and this particular shade is called Mandy. So I thought I would give it a shot. I have purchased it. I have not worn it yet. And so my goal is to wear it one time and see what I think. Yep. I keep looking at the bottom going, making sure this is the right one. I know this is the right one. This is Mandy. It is a beautiful shimmery pink. And I am going to bring that in for one use to see how it looks. And then finally, I am bringing in the Flying Dutchman. And that is something you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. So I am bringing in a blush because blushes take forever. And if you watch my deck of panning, you'll know I just hit pan in my oldest blush. I'm not going to try and hit pan in this. 
But this is uh, another blush I have. This is from Essence. It is The Blush, and it is in the shade 70, Believing. It is my only cool blush at this time. Um, and I want to bring it in for 20 uses and see if we can wear off some of that embossing. So that is everything for today's update. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content and you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button right down there while you're here and click that little bell icon to be notified whenever I upload my next video. And until then, take care of yourselves and don't forget to be true to you. And I will see you later. Bye.